Hello everyone. I want to give you an introduction how PLM change management is handled in SAP S4HANA. The following apps and functionalities are available in S4HANA on-premise, starting with release 2020 FPS1, as well as on cloud systems, starting with S4HANA Cloud Edition 2111. In this video, I want to start giving you an overview of all SAP Fiori applications are used for the change management process. I will first show you some slides and then jump into the systems for a live demo. Please know that we have used the latest S4HANA on-premise system, which is currently shipped to our customers. It has the state of S4HANA 2021 FPS 0. As you see on the slides, we mainly have seven apps available to handle and set up change management processes in SAP. The first one is our main app called Manage Change Records. In this app, you will be able to display all created change record and also create new ones. So this is the main entry point if you want to initiate a new change process within your company. The second app is called My Inbox. As the name is saying, this is the inbox for all work items a user is receiving as part of a process route. Please note that not only work items for a change record process route are maintained here, also work items from other SAP applications using process routes are accessible for a user in this app. The next app is the Manage Change Masters. This is our entry point to create, edit, and display change masters in the system. You probably know the transaction codes CC01, CC02, and CC03. This application is putting all these transaction codes together. Our next app is so-called Global Process Route Workbench. Here we have the possibility to create and maintain global process route templates. These templates are then accessible to load in the process route of the change record section. The Manage Impact Analysis Models app is needed in case you want to create impact analysis models. You can, for example, set up a scenario where the relation of objects in an affected item of the change are shown. The related objects are potentially also impacted by the change and can easily be added into the change record. These scenarios can be set up on several change record types. To display statistics about all change management process, we have the app of Engineering Cockpit available. The Engineering Cockpit is acting like a dashboard for our change records. In Teams and Responsibility Management, we have the possibility to define teams out of business partners or additional sub-teams, which we can assign to the change record or process route work items. For sure, this app is also used in other areas like procurement or asset management to define team responsibilities. Let's now jump into the system to have a closer look into our available change management apps. Here in the system, you see the Fiori dashboard of our change management applications. The first app I have shown you is the Manage Change Records, which we see here. As I have already mentioned in the PowerPoint, you, in this app you have the possibility to display all change records or also create new ones. In the Harry area, you, you can filter for the already existing change records. The following list view is the list view of all change records available in the system. Via this button create change record, you have the possibility to create the change record types which you have set up in the system. Later, we will go into this in more detail. In this example, we are creating a change record of a process industry change. As you see, we are here now in the draft mode. So we can, do, we can give a de description, add several information, and create the change record. Thereafter, you will see that this create a change record is then available on the list view on our entry point of this app. If you go back to our Fiori launchpad, we then have the chance to go into the next application, the My Inbox.
As already described, here the user have the possibility to access all the process route work items which are assigned on his name. From there, he can directly jump into the change record via this link. He is receiving here additional information about the change record and he can also approve or reject the work item from the my inbox. The third application is the Manage Change Masters. As already mentioned, this is known as the former transaction code CC01, CC02 and CC03. Here we see all change masters which are available in the system and also via this button we have the possibility to create new one. For sure, when we are in a change master, we have also the possibility to switch into the edit mode. Back to the Fiori side, I can introduce you into our app of the Global Process Route Workbench. Here you see all process route templates which we have already created and which are available in the system. For sure you can also create new ones and also change existing ones. These process route workbench are available on the process route section to load as a template on the change record or can be also set up in the BIF plus that the templates gets loaded automatically. Back on the Fury, we now access the app of the Manage Impact Analysis models. Here you also have a list view about all model scenarios which have been already created in our system. As already mentioned, you also have the possibility to create new scenarios or access existing ones, which you can then edit or delete. To have some dashboards of the change management process in our company available, we can access our engineering cockpit. The engineering cockpit is acting as a de dashboard for all change records, which we have available in the system. You can display several statistics and can filter for different time frames. For sure, you also have the possibility to directly access from here the Manage Change Records applications or also the already shown Manage Change Masters app as well as several other applications. Last but not least, the application of Manage Teams and Responsibilities is allowing you to set up different teams, to assign business users and sub teams to your team, to edit existing teams, and for sure also create new ones. Thank you everyone. I hope you now get a first introduction which PLM change management applications are used in SAP S4HANA.